Hello and welcome this time to a new series, to a new series about control engineering. Control engineering. Regelungstechnik in German. Yeah. This topic, this topic we will discuss in length yeah, and quite a long time. Control engineering. What is control engineering? We are discussing so-called closed loop control systems. Okay? Closed loop control systems. In English, in, in German, it's Regelungen. Yeah? In German, we distinguish between Steuerungen and Regelungen. Steuerungen would mean control systems, and Regelungen is closed, control, closed loop control systems. So, this is now about closed loop control systems, Regelungen. Okay. What is such closed loop control system? Actually, we do have we do have somewhere a part where something is produced or control something is done, something is happening. Yeah? This part. Yeah? This part means control system. This is my control system. Regelstrecke in German. Control system. Okay. Something is going inside in this control system. Something. Yeah. And something comes out. This is the output of the control system. This is the so called controlled variable. The usual sign is x. Yeah? So this is the controlled variable in German Regelgröße. Controlled variable. Okay. This controlled variable I do compare here is some mixing point yeah? and here here I do have I do have another another thing. This is the reference variable this here. W. You can want it. This is what I want. This is what I have. Okay? Reference variable, control variable. I do look at the difference. Do look at the difference of those two variables. Yeah. What is the result of this difference? Is the so-called deviation. Okay, it's the so-called control deviation. Control deviation xd is the wanted one minus the controlled one. Control deviation. Here I have another block. That's actually the thing which is reacting on this deviation. That's the so-called controller or regulator. Okay. Regler of German. Regulator or controller. And the output of this controller is yet another variable yeah, which is influencing the control system. Yeah. 
this variable is called correcting variable. Okay, so that's the correcting. Why usually? This correcting variable influences in the control system something and changes the controlled variable. The change of the control variable is compared to the reference value. Yeah? The new control deviation will be formed to a new correcting value. The new correcting value is influencing the corrected system in another way and the corrected variable. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah? This is a loop. Yeah? This is a loop. This, this is why it's called closed loop. So the signal, the signal yeah, is actually loop shaped. Yeah? The information flow. Yeah? This is the control loop. Yeah. And now it's clear, controls with feedback because the controlled variable is fed back to the beginning of the control system and is changing something there. Okay? Correcting variable. Yeah. Control variable, the reference variable, difference, control deviation is having a new correcting variable which is influencing the controlled variable and so on and so on and so on and so on and so on. And so on, and so on. Yeah. This is the thing we we want to look for. This one we usually cannot cannot the control system is given. Yeah, there is a control system we want to control this system. Yeah, and we have to find a controller which is capable of doing so. That's the task of control engineering mainly. Okay. Looks good. However, there are some there are some disturbance signals, yeah? disturbances which are influencing somewhere, yeah? maybe the control system, maybe the controller itself, these are disturbance disturbance, yeah? usually with Z, yeah? Yeah? usually here ZS for system and so on. There can be many disturbance disturbances on the system, and this here Z regulator, yeah, Z regulator two up to Z regulator M. Also, a lot of uh, disturbances can be on the regulator side. So this is the control loop. Yeah, this is the control system. This is the controller. This here is given from outside. The reference variable is given from outside. The controller cannot influence the reference variable. Yeah? That's also that's given from somewhere. If this is a fixed value or some time variant value, yeah, it might also be, for instance, room temperature. During day we want to have 22 degrees, during night we want to have 18 degrees. So this is time dependent. It yeah? can also be. However, the controller itself cannot influence. That's given from the outside world. Yeah? The controller's task is just to bring the controlled variable to wherever we want to have it. Okay? Control loop. This is what we are talking about in the next videos. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.